Just wanted to put a bit of a disclaimer at the start of this video because it's not a very nice one. Uh, it does involve a mantis that has suffered a mismolt and that's never very really pleasant to see. Whilst we don't really know how insects process things like this and whether they are actually in distress because they don't really feel emotions, it's still just not a very nice thing to watch for some people. It's not anything bad or horrific and it's natural and it happens all the time in the wild but I just wanted to let you know because I'm the same way I don't like seeing an animal in uh, any sort of discomfort or anything like that I just wanted to put it out there as an example of something that can happen if you are keeping these creatures and also for my own education because uh, there might be some suggestions that you guys have in the comments or people who are far more advanced keepers than I am that could possibly say where this has gone wrong or what what could be done better from for my own keeping too so if you're that way inclined might be a video you want to skip for now i haven't had a miss mole in a long time but today well yesterday i noticed that my blepharopsis mendica was preparing for its final molt and it started going through it but uh, it's been a while now um it's looking like the mantis is struggling a lot to get out of that molt so we might have to just check in and uh, see if there's anything we can do to help. I have misted the mantis and it does actually seem to have helped her get her abdomen out. So yeah, I am just a little bit worried because it's been a long time now and usually they'll slip out no problem. The concern I've got really though is from my research, these guys did do like to be kept in a more arid, heated environment. So it's the only mantis other than my devil's flower mantis that isn't kept uh, at a high humidity or more humid environment so I'm wondering whether that has affected it because it just seems a bit coincidental that this is a drier enclosure and it's the only mantis I've had for a long time now that's struggled with any molts but I think we're going to attempt to maybe take her out and just see if we can give her a bit of a hand here because I am concerned that she's going to get stuck in there if we leave it too long as I've explained previously it is a last resort that you come in and start messing with the mantis when it's uh, going through a molt so this is really just to, to a tr attempt to save its life really um, and go into adulthood because if it stays like this it's not going to survive because it's going to be stuck in its exuvium but I'm hoping we can maybe give her a hand just to get out of there. Let's find out. Um, I'm a bit worried that her legs might be stuck as well uh, which might lead to some deformity and the concern is that with this girl being an adult I'm not sure if this is her, no I don't think it is her adult stage because it looks like she's still got wing buds unless they're just not inflated. I just don't want those legs to come out deformed on her final molt because that really will be unsalvageable. So let's see if we can give her a bit of a hand here. Let's give it a bit of a spritz. I'm sorry but we have to do this. I can moisten it up a little. We want you to be able to slip out of this skin, don't we? We can pull away the excess exuvium. I think I can see her legs and it's not looking great. So I think her raptors have freed. But they do look quite deformed. Funny thing is, like, she's just carrying on like nothing's wrong, just sitting there having a little drink. But it's these legs that are the problem, I think. The legs are really stuck. If she was younger, I would consider amputating the legs, but at the age that she's at, I just don't think this is going to be viable for her. Because she won't have a chance to molt and have the legs come back to normal. Yeah, these are looking really bent. You can see, I mean, look at that leg there. Oh dear. What happened to you, eh? Yeah, this is a sign of a mantis that is, is not going to be able to recover from this. So this is what happens, unfortunately. If they don't slip out of their exuvium quick enough, they will begin to harden in whatever position they're in. And often when they're molting, of course, it's... Uh, it's not the ideal position for their legs and their legs will then harden in this deformed manner 
and uh, Raptors seem to have done the same thing to be honest but I think yeah this isn't really fair to uh, keep her alive like this she's got no chance of survival it's a real real shame and I hate I know it's just a bug but I always hate it when this happens I just feel sorry for them like not that we know that much about how insects process these kind of things happening but it's almost like she's just on default mode because she was still drinking and just carrying on like anything, everything's normal. She doesn't seem distressed, but obviously it's not fair to keep her like this. Sometimes it's heartbreaking to see this kind of thing. Um, and I always kind of debate whether to put these kind of videos out. But I think it's important because if you're going to look to keep these kind of creatures, you need to realise that sometimes... Things can go wrong. Uh, they have so many babies. The chances of them reaching adulthood is very slim anyway. Uh, in the wild, that is. And we try and give them the best chance. Uh, but it's our responsibility, really, to do the right thing. And in this case, I think we're going to have to euthanise this girl. It's unpleasant because the fairest way to do that, and it might be a bit controversial, but I'm going to put it out there anyway. So we will have to crush this girl. The method of putting them in the freezer is something that's highly debated whether that's fair whether that actually is painless for them and i personally feel that if we're not sure then the fairest thing as horrible it is as it is for us it's the quickest way and most surefire way to stop them suffering in an instant and so that that is what i'll do with this girl i'm not obviously not going to show that on camera and it's hard and it's horrible and it never gets easier to do but I feel like if you're going to keep something like this, it is your responsibility to just man up and, and do it for the sake of the creature rather than just putting it in the freezer and, you know, turning a blind eye to it because you can't deal with the thought of crushing something. But even in this state, it's still a wonderful, amazing creature. I mean, look at its eyes. It looks so wonderful. And it's a shame this girl couldn't have made it further. Uh, but we still enjoyed keeping her and time to say goodbye to this one. I feel like I'm having a bit of a spate of bad luck at the moment, but um, hopefully we'll be back with some happier videos soon. Uh, but until next time, thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch the video. If you like this kind of content, I usually post videos at least once a week, so consider subscribing. Until next time, stay safe and I'll see you soon.